hey guys today we are going to see how to use searchable to create a search bar in your swift ui app so this searchable uh, attribute is newly introduced in swift ui this year in wwdc 2021 and it's quite easy to use so let's create a new app we will just call it searchable and let's expand the window so you guys can see everything and then let's uh, choose iOS 12 as our simulator and we'll resume it so for this example we are going to create an array of fruits and from that array we will search for a particular fruit so fruits is gonna be our array and then we will define a search term and then we'll make a variable called filtered fruits that will be using the search term to filter the fruits to show As you can see, our search term will be a state because search term is something that's gonna change as we enter the uh, keyword in the search bar. And we will define our filtered fruits as a computed property that will compute the fruits array required for that search term that is entered so inside this computed property we will check the search term and see if it's empty if it's empty we will just return the whole fruit array because the search term that you entered in the search box contains nothing and if it contains something then we will we would want to filter that fruits array to return only the uh, fruits that contains the search term so for example if you entered M it will just return the mango because M is contained only in the mango in Swift as you can see filtering is very easy you say fruits dot filter and you pass a predicate uh, the dollar zero is saying is representing each fruit in the array and then you are checking if that fruit fruits lowercase contains the search terms lowercase and that is the true that fruit will be included in the resulting array and inside the body let's create our navigation view and then we will create a list of the filtered fruits so for that we'll use the for each construct to pass our filtered fruits array and then we'll get each fruit in the for each block and we will use a text view to draw a text view with the fruits name now let's resume the preview and check if our list shows up and indeed it shows it shows up in the preview and now we will use the newly introduced searchable attribute on the list uh, passing the search term as the parameter as you can see it requires iOS 15 uh, so we'll move our target up to iOS 15 and resume the preview as you can see we now have a search bar on the top and we can search for stuff and our fruit filtered fruits array just filters the fruits according to our search term let's also use a navigation uh, title bar so it looks better so I'll we'll just use navigation title attribute uh, just call it fruits and actually like you have to move this up because this has to go into the 
child view of the navigation view as you can see fruits is now our title and the search bar still functions normally and here we can do one more thing to make our list look good we can remove the separators from the list so that is also a newly introduced attribute called list row separator and you pass hidden and it will disable the separators in the list as you can see on the preview now our list has no separators so that's all i had for today uh, if it was useful like this video and i'm launching a new uh, thing from today that everyone who comments down below uh, i'll be reaching out to them and then we can have a discussion or anything that you want related to swift and swift ui in your comments include the word searchable so i know like you want to discuss something